Previously, we looked at systems involving multiplicity and systems that had two dice, two six-sided dice, and we saw that the total on the dice was what we called the macrostate, and the identities of those dice was the microstate. The number of microstates for a macrostate is called the multiplicity. Now we're going to consider another category of systems rather than a six-sided die. Let's consider a two-sided die, also called a coin. A two-state system is one in which each part of the system has two possible states. Canonically, they are called up and down. And in the case of coins, to make this a bit more mundane but a bit more hands-on, we could consider a simple system of four coins. Now, what is the likelihood that none of those are tails? How many ways could I have no tails? Well, I see that this is it. This is the one way to have no tails in this system. There it is. What if I wanted to have just one tail? Well, how many choices do I have for which one could be that one tail? It could be this coin, or this coin, or this coin, or this coin, and note, not coincidentally, there are four coins and four ways to have just one of them be a tail. Note also the symmetry of this system, that having one tail is the same as having three heads. So we've also answered the question, how many ways could I have three heads? This way, this way, this way, or this way. One case that has a bit more possibilities, a few more possibilities, is if we have two tails out of our collection of four. These could be the two tails. I'm not going to flip them now, but just highlight. We could also have these two as tails, these two, these two, or there are two other possibilities, either of the diagonals paired. So I count there in my rectangles six possibilities. Going over what we've seen then, we have we see from the list of possibilities that there's a symmetry to the system as expected since the coins have two equal sides, both equiprobable per coin, and the probability of having just zero tails is that we have just one way of doing that. How many total ways do I have here? 6, 8, 6 and 8 is 14, 15, 16 total possible microstates adding up all of these multiplicities. So the probability of having no tails out of these four coins is 1 16th. The probability of having one tail is 4 16ths, or 1 4th. The probability of having two tails is 6 16ths, also known as 3 eighths. So we're applying this idea that by counting the number of microstates per macrostate, we can find the probability of that macrostate. For four coins, this is relatively simple, but we'd like to have a formula that applies for an arbitrary number of coins, and maybe we can arrive at that by considering a slightly larger set. Suppose I have ten fair coins. How many ways can I get all tails? Well, that's simple. There's just one. It's by getting all heads. How many ways can I get only one tail? Well, any one of the coins could be the one tail, so that's ten. If my number of coins is n, it will be n ways of getting two, n ways of getting one tail. How many ways can I get two tails out of ten coins? Well, that is a little bit harder to calculate, and we want to visualize that. I have ten coins here. Let's la label them, one, two, three, up to ten. How many choices do I have if I want to have, let's say, three tails out of these? Well, for the first tail, I have ten choices. Let's choose three of them, one, two, and three. So we chose coins number two, four, and eight to be the tails. But how many ways could we have chosen that? Well, for the first tail, we had 10 choices. That means for the second tail, we only had nine ways, nine coins left that we could choose. And for the third tail, we had only eight ways, eight choices of which coin would be that tail. However, we are overcounting the number of ways here. I see 9 times 8 is 72, times 10, 720. We're overcounting a bit how many ways we could have these choices, because notice we could have drawn out numbers out of a hat and chosen 2, 4, 8, or we could have chosen the same numbers in, in a different order, 8, 4, 2, or 8, 2, 4. So we've counted all the possible orders that we chose those three coins. So of those three, how many of them could have been the first choice? All three of them could have been. How many could have been the second choice? Well, the two that weren't the first choice, and for completeness, we'll say there was only one choice left for the third one. So 720 over 6, or 120 ways of choosing those three. So that is the multiplicity of three tails.
So we notice this pattern that we have a number times 1 less times 1 less than that number, and you might remember that there's a notation for that. The notation is factorial. n factorial means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times dot 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 2 times 1. So we multiply all the integers from n down to 1. So we want to know what is the multiplicity in general if I have n coins and let's say q tails. Well I see the pattern up there. I have 10 times 9 times 8, but my factorial is not complete. So let's see what would happen if I made it complete by multiplying all the way down. We have 10 times 9 times 8, and here's our 3 times 2 times 1. I'd like to complete that factorial. I'll use another color just to highlight. 7 times 6 times 5. But we aren't allowed to just multiply the numerator of some fraction by other numbers, so we need to do the same to the denominator as well. And that will give us no change compared to the correct expression here. So we've just multiplied by 1 in magenta there. But notice that this makes it possible to write this in a much nicer form. I can say that this is n factorial in the numerator, 10 through 1, and then I have 7 factorial times 3 factorial. So that is q factorial, the number of tails, 3 times 2 times 1, times n minus q factorial, the number of factors we needed to multiply by just to extend that factorial for the numerator into the nice form. So this is a general formula for the multiplicity of having q tails when I have n coins. Notice that q plus n minus q equals n, so this formula will be symmetric. In other words, the probability of having 3 tails out of 10 is the same as the probability of having 7 tails out of 10. It's the same as the probability of having, therefore, 3 heads out of 10. So this will be symmetric up to 5 out of 10, and then symmetric on the other side from 5 to 10 tails. So that is the general formula for the multiplicity of a two-state system with n parts if we want to have q of them be up, or heads, or 1 versus 0.